But check it out guys, everybody's checking out the vending machines. They see the spanking deals on them, boys. Yo guys, what is going on? Jester back here, and today, instead of Build Up Treasure, we are on Skyblock. And I see by the title and thumbnail, guys, I'm super hyped to let you in on what I'm going to be showing you. Now, that title and thumbnail is not clickbait, guys. I am actually going to be telling you how you can make tons and tons of money off of these vending machines they have added to Skyblock. Now, you can obviously sell any items on these that you have for any price you want. Obviously, nobody's going to buy it if it's a ridiculous price. But um, I'm going to be teaching you how you can resell items, guys, and get people to come to your place and uh, just make you tons and tons of money. So basically, I'm going to start with showing you how to make a vending machine. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty easy. If you haven't done that yet, all you need to do is you have to have a workbench tier 3, if I'm correct. Here it is, the vending machine. Now, it takes crystallized iron, green sticky gear, and gold. It takes 10 gold, 5 of the green sticky gears, and 1 crystallized iron, guys. So it's not too hard to make, really. But, you know, I can see if you didn't have any of the stuff, which I only have two crystallized iron left. That's probably the hardest item in here to get. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and use up that last two I have. I'm going to smelt some more gold and show you just right quick how to work these vending machines. And, uh, yeah, make a bunch of profit off it, guys. So, basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to stick a whole bunch of gold in here. Not that much because we already have four. We just need ten. So, we're going to go ahead and stick all this in here. Get this gold. Hopefully, this isn't filled up with stuff. Okay. But, yeah. All right, guys, I've collected the gold. I have enough to make another one. Let's go and craft this. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's go ahead back to the area where I got these up. Now, guys, I suggest you place your vending machines near your entrance because or the spawn because when you invite people, they're going to spawn over here. So I might actually end up moving these close to the spawn. But either way, I like to have them near the entrance. It just seems like a really good spot. So when people are on their way out. Or, any, or, or anything like that. It's just a good spot to have them, in my opinion. But you could always open up, like, a shop and put them in there to make it look cool. That's what I plan to do in the future. But for now, this is what we got. Let's go ahead. Let me clear out my hot bar here. Um, where is it? There we go. Okay, so we got a vending machine. I'm going to go and stick it right here because I think that looks like a cool spot for it. Boom, bang, pow. All right, so now hit F to open. Edit. You want to keep it on mode buy, not sell. Buy. All right, so this is so when somebody comes up to it, they're not going to be selling to it. They're going to be buying from it, guys. All right, so now make sure you price your things at a proper pricing. Go around, ask people if you don't know how much it's worth. Or uh, just kind of go, here's what you can do to figure out the price of things. I'm going to show you right quick. So, right quick, let's say you have some uh, tomato seeds. They cost 250 coins. I would sell those guys for 240 coins. So then people are like, hey... My boys got them for super or uh, 10 bucks cheaper. They're going to run to your base. Or if it's like 100 cheaper, I would make it at least 100 bucks cheaper, guys. So then it really grabs their attention. And make sure you let them know in chat. We're going to be doing that in a little bit here. We're going to let them know about what we're going to do is we're going to set our onion totems to a cheap price. Right now, they're at 8,000 for here. And I got a whole bunch. So I'm going to go back to my base <laughs> and see how I have them here. I got them for 6,500. So now I can go and type in chat. Come to my base onion totems for uh and if you guys don't know it, it blocks out numbers so you want to say like uh 6k or something like that just so just so it's like kind of somewhat understandable or else the game will put a hashtag over it and hide it but yeah okay so whatever you want basically like these carrot cakes you go and just stick them in there and put the pricing that you think now these take a little bit to make you got to cook them and everything like that. Got to have all the right stuff for it. So I think I'm going to price these at a fair price of around... I'm going to say 10 grand, okay? Because 10 grand is not that many coins in this game, actually, for most players. And for a cake, I don't think that's that bad. I would pay that. So I'm going to go and stick that on there, guys. And look at that. Now, people come to your base, and they're going to buy whatever you got in here. Make sure it's at a good price, though. Like, these stickies, I got them for 2500 I could honestly lower that price. 6k too much for me that's cheaper this guy said that that's too much but that's cheaper than they are in the store guys not everybody's gonna accept your prices but when people figure out it's a good deal they're gonna want to shop so i'm gonna start inviting people so then everybody is able to join my base and see this that's what i do every time i get into a game guys i make it so everybody can join make sure you got your vending machine set up and ready so then they can catch everybody's attention and people can go shopping so that's set up nice and well i'm gonna make probably some more though because we don't have that many we're going to need crystalline. Oh, we, we have one crystalline iron left. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more vending machine then, guys. One more. 
Let me go ahead and smell all this gold right quick, guys. This is just how I have it set up. This isn't really a, a, an efficient gold smelting area right here. It's just the one I got, though, for the time being. There's some people from the live stream in here, guys. They're like, what? He just stopped live streaming, guys. Before this, you don't know this because this is the day after the live stream you're seeing this, guys. But, but right before I started recording this video, I just ended my live stream. But, uh, yeah, so right now I'm just, uh, I let everybody out in here. So they're probably thinking, like, what the heck? All right, so we got enough gold now. Let's go ahead and go back in here and make another one. All right, that's going to be our last vending machine for a little while here because we got to get more crystallized iron. But, hey, that's all good, boys, because we got three, four, and now this is going to be five, dude. We're going to have so much things for sale. All right, let's go and put that up. Now, what should we sell in this one, guys? I want to sell stuff that I don't. Ooh, industrial stone cutter. I think I have some industrial washing stations. So what I'm going to do is uh, these are really in high demand right now. So I think I'm going to sell these for a pretty penny. I think I'm going to sell these for like uh, um, 300,000 gold, 300, gold, do you think, guys? Because these are pretty hard to make. you got to get like rare items for it. So I'm thinking 300,000 gold is a fair price, right? I think that's what we'll do. So let's go ahead and stick 300,000. We'll do 350k. Because I don't, I don't know really what these are priced for, guys. But this is what you got to do. If you don't have anybody to ask, you just got to go on a limb and be like, you know what? I think this is right. So I need to keep at least, uh, how many of these? I need at least like two, three, four, five. I need at least like five. So I'll go ahead and sell four for right now. Boom. Check that out, guys. So we got those for 355k. Did, did that guy just buy one? Or we got four in there now? Look at that. All right, guys, so that is how you make a whole bunch of money on here. We got that all set up now. Now, people can come from their bases, or if I invite them, I'm going to say in chat, um, selling, selling washers at my, at my base. So let everybody guys know what you're doing. Selling washers at my base. So now people are going to read that and be like, yo, he's got washers. I need to buy those. And they're going to start joining. And just make sure you go through the island access list and make sure everybody is able to join. Or else, you know, you're going to be saying that in chat for no reason. And nobody's going to come over here to buy your stuff because they can't, dude. But yeah, so basically that's all set up now. We got the vending machines. And now, guys, you can make double the money with your vendings and also your farms and whatnot. Obviously, farms are kind of lame now because you got to walk near them for them to even generate. Because I have a whole bunch of um, I have a whole bunch of farms, guys. So I've reached the spawn limit. I'm, I reached the spawn limit like a long time ago. So these vending machines are gonna be my new way of making money in this game, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this technique and it's gonna help you out in the future. But yeah, guys, I got to update a whole bunch of stuff on my base. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the video. I'm going to go. Oh, pfft. I'm going to go ahead and get some washers put on this onion, guys. Let's go and get that or the onion factory, not on an onion. Let's go ahead and update our onion factory. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to do here is since the update, I haven't fixed it and made it so it like works properly because now they have these washers that have to wash the oily stuff off of your vegetables because they come from the conveyors, which makes sense. It's kind of realistic, you know, so we got to update our base and add those. All right, guys. So basically, if you haven't used these washers, by the way, I'll go ahead and give you a quick little tutorial. Basically, all you got to do is stick them on there, connect them to your previous conveyors. Oh, actually, I got to delete these walls or else that's not going to be very possible. And then, yeah, they go through it and then they got to be powered with coal and then they go into your little storage chest right here. I know that's not what this video is about, guys, but some of you guys still ask when I do things in my videos and you're like, whoa, how did you do that? But yeah, so yeah, that's how you do that if you didn't already know. But yeah, okay, let's stick this on there. That'd be great if it would go back. There we go. All right, we got to place down a little bit more stone and stick our other industrial chest on here. Where is it? Here we go, industrial chest. Wow, potato god, watch out. Oh, well, he's in the way, so we'll go ahead and move this for now. Uh-huh, put that on there. All right, we got to delete this all off and get a washer on this one as well.
All right, guys, check that out. Now, all I got to do is enclose these so they look nice and slick. And now, all these are going to be washed manually. And, uh, yeah, that's all updated now. So, that's pretty sick. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and enclose these after the video and everything. I'm going to cut the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know if my vending machine technique helps you out a lot. Basically, guys, the trick to it is to flip items, basically. These onion totems go for 8,000. Obviously, you can sell them for, like, 7,500 or 7,000 just to get, like, that $1,000 cutoff so people, like, buy from you more. But check it out, guys. Everybody's checking out the vending machines. They see the banking deals on them boys but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you all in that next video peace out